I am pretty sure that when it comes to the conversation of Disney Star Wars, most of us will agree that the studio simply isn't putting any heart into the product. Look at what they have done to that of the legacy characters, mainly Luke Skywalker. I would never forgive Disney for what they have done to my boy Luke and also the stories that they have decided to tell. It has become very evident that Disney doesn't care about Star Wars. In fact, the moment that they acquired that of Lucasfilm, the only thing that the studio was seeing was that of dollar signs. However, they forgot quality is the only way to achieve that. What's going on, my beautiful geek culture? As always, I'm your boy O, and today it is time to talk about the Acolyte once again as we will not be getting a second season. That's right, baby. It has been canceled. Now look, before I get started, do your boy O one major favor. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with that algorithm, baby. Now let's get into today's news. This article comes from CBR.com. It is titled Star Wars The Acolyte Officially Canceled at the One Season. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right. Uh, give me one second, you guys. Right there. The Acolyte is going to be a single season series. While some fans were calling for Disney Plus to renew the Star Wars series for a second season, the opposite has happened instead. Per deadline, it's been revealed that the Acolyte has been canceled with no second season on the way. Series creator Leslie Headland Let's just call her Leslie Headless. And some cast members has been hopeful for the story to continue with season two. But the decision not to move forward with a renewal has officially been made. The news comes over a month after the first and only season of the series ended its eight episode run. Mm -mm -mm. See, this is all Disney's fault. Why? Because you put out a product that you clearly did not Think through. In fact, you put out something that broke canon. And that is one of your biggest mistakes here. You believe that the fans isn't paying attention. However, what you fail to realize is it is the canon that has the fans invested. Think about that for a second. One major roadblock that stood in the way of the Acolyte continuing is how relentless some Star Wars fans has been with their criticism of the series. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're trying to say that fans criticizing the Acolyte is the reason or one of the reasons why second season didn't happen. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. All right, while Acolyte generated a fresh score with critics at Rotten Tomatoes, landing at 78%, it was giving an abysmal audience score of 18%. The score was partly, partly attributed to review bombing, though the message will still be pretty clear that the Acolyte wasn't the most popular installment of the franchise. So, you're saying that the TV show was review bombed, and that is why it flopped? No, no, no. I believe your next sentence is why it flopped. Viewership for the series also reportedly dwindled as the Acolyte progressed. So that means, that means that fans tuned in, like myself, right? Believe it or not, I watched every eight, all of the, all of the episodes, right? I watched all of them. I gave you guys reviews on every last one of the episodes. So the reason why the viewership pretty much shrunk after a few episodes, it was because all of those outside casuals, you know, those people who's curious, not actual fans, tuned out. See, what a lot of these people fail to realize is your product has to extend 
past the fan base in order to be successful. Every time you see a film make a billion dollars at the box office, that is not only fans. That is the, also the average movie goer. That's people who's curious, who's interested, who has heard word of mouth. But in this case here, the Acolyte didn't have good word of mouth from the beginning. Yeah, you're trying to say that 78% on Rotten Tomatoes should be an indication of the show's quality. But in reality, it is not. It is not. Audience feedback. Audience feedback is what's going to tell you how the show's quality is rated. Right. I mean, I don't understand this. Let's depend on Rotten Tomatoes to save our asses, right? I mean, come on here. No. Rotten Tomatoes has never been the catalyst of why something is successful. Yeah, you have some folks out there who believes that, but in reality, it is mainly word of mouth. That's how it has always been, and that is never going to change. Now, regarding Disney's Star Wars, they have the fan base totally misunderstood, man. And I say that because they feel that they could just put anything out there and everyone is just going to tune in because it's Star Wars. You know, put in minimal effort. And that ain't how this works, man. You have to put out something of that of quality, like you did with Rogue One. Right, Rogue One is the best Disney Star Wars, I, I was going to say film, I would say project of all time. See, I was just going to say film, but Rogue One is better than all of the TV shows. So, why is it so hard for you to put out something of that caliber, of that quality? I don't get it. I don't get it. The Acolyte failed because it is a poor attempt at a Star Wars story. That isn't anyone's fault but that of Disney and also the writer, Leslie Headland, or should I say Headless? That's who you need to be blaming here. Disney Plus has over 100 million subscribers. And here it is. It cannot make a 30 or should I say 28 minute TV show successful. It's giving all of these impressions. Right. The moment you log on to Disney Plus, act like right there. People are logging on to Disney Plus every day and talk about back when the show first appeared. I'm going to say premiered. People should have been watching that thing left and right. It should have been on the front page of Disney Plus. It should have not been no way you couldn't have not watched that TV show. But here it is. The viewership was low. So it seems to me that all of these articles, you know, about a month and a half ago, two months ago, that was saying that the Acolyte was Disney Plus 2024 highest debut. Come on, man. That only tells us that Disney Plus is failing as a system. If your highest viewership show of the year is being canceled, right? What does that say about everything else? Disney is a failing studio. Yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine is going to bring us some money and maybe Alien Romulus, but when it comes down to the overall you know, story of it all, it would not end great for that of Disney. Disney, at some point, is going to lose so much money, they will be in the same position as that of DC and Warner Brothers. And this is a direct result of them spending too much money on these damn TV shows when Star Wars was never meant to be enjoyed in this type of way. You need to be watching this in the movie theater. I am pretty sure that there was a cut of this TV show that they could have put together and made a fluid film that everyone could have enjoyed. But instead, they went the Disney Plus route. You know, the quality killer. That is what Disney Plus is to me. If you put something on Disney Plus, 
it will kill the quality of whatever brand that you put on Disney Plus. That goes for Marvel and also Star Wars. And I'm pretty sure Percy Jackson, that's on Disney Plus too. So when it comes down to Star Wars as a whole, Disney, take your damn time. Stop trying to flood the market with Star Wars, you know, with Star Wars projects, right? And, and hope that you can flip it so you can seem more successful with this brand. I don't know. I don't know. Take your damn time and you will not be seeing situations such as this. Straight up. The Aculite is castled. We will not be seeing a season two. Ocean and May. Dark Plagueis. You can kill that shit. You ain't gonna never get to see the story unfold. I'm your boy O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to the end of your boy out that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. And I'm trying to get to the magical number of 10,000 subscribers. I was about to mess up. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. And I would be highly appreciative. You will help me get over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if y'all are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below, let me know what you think about the AccuLight being canceled. And also, do you agree with me when I say that Disney isn't putting any heart into that of Star Wars. And also remember, let's say La Bon Ton Roulette. That means let the good times roll. Let me know in the comments below.